Welcome to Ask the Expert with Dan Walsh. I have a problem measuring compressor oils that contain high levels of refrigerant. Often I need to let the sample degas for up to a day before I can get an accurate viscosity reading. Refrigerant gas bubbles out of the oil as I try to measure it. Is there an easier way to get accurate readings? Compressor oil analysis is required by most manufacturers. However, sampling compressor oil can oftentimes be a challenge, particularly for when measuring kinematic viscosity, which is required by most manufacturers. And the reason is, is that in many of these systems, you have a residual amount of refrigerant still present in the sample. This can often be observed by looking at a series of bubbles that don't actually degas out of the system when you first receive the sample in the lab or if you get it from the factory. Currently, the only way for you to get a proper viscosity result is to prepare the sample um, using a degassing, leaving it out for several hours or days, or by actually putting it into a, a decanting it into a petri dish and boiling it off using a hot plate. If you don't do that, putting the sample directly into a traditional viscometer will either cause a result that is way, way too low or an error because the, the gas or the refrigerant tries to boil off while it's in measurement. However, there's a lot easier way to do this, and that's using the SpectreVisc Q3000 series, which has a split cell capillary approach using the Hellishaw technique. Simply, all you have to do is take a positive displacement pipette and introduce your sample, take 60 microliters, prepare the system, make sure that the cell is clean, previous sample, or if it's not been used in a while, pre-wet the plates, follow through with the instructions, introduce the sample, and it takes about, give or take a minute depending on the viscosity, to run up your result, and you get kinematic viscosity at 40 degrees C directly from the device. Q3000 operation. Oil flows down the split cell due to the force of gravity. LEDs measure how fast the oil moves through the cell. Any dissolved gases are dissipated out the sides of the cell so they don't interfere with the flow of oil. And so now you have the result immediately in, in center stokes at 40 degrees C. So a couple of things. Very easy to use. No need for additional solvents. No need for additional time to degas, which can be in the order of minutes, hours, or days. You get an immediate result accurate to the degassed uh, result from a viscometer. Saves you a lot of time in the lab or with uh, the customer directly, and can be used in a field or lab environment. Q3000 key takeaways. No degassing required, results in minutes, no solvents, easy to use, the results match those obtained if the sample is degassed, and the instrument is suitable for field or laboratory use.